hello everyone so today we are going to work on heavy attack uh, reactions and damage so basically a new ability for the heavy attack so this is a light attack and in the heavy attack you can see the opponent's reaction is different compared to a light attack let me do a light attack first see for light attack it's just only the reaction that it shows but for heavy attack there is a staggered the character is staggered backward and also it does more damage so here we are going to implement a separate gameplay ability for the heavy attacks and for the heavy attack damages and also this will be properly replicated as we are using the gameplay ability system and we are, have already implemented the necessary functions to replicate everything we need all right so that's what we are going to work on today and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from my patreon page once you become a member you can download anything without a limit and also this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system tutorial series so i'll leave the link to the full tutorial series in the description below you can watch them all for free from my channel so feel free to check it out as well and let's get back to today's tutorial okay so now that we have implemented heavy attacks still uh, there is no difference in the damage done to the characters from the heavy attacks still it's the same reaction from the enemies and also same amount of damage they are taking when they hit by a heavy attack so that's what i want to work on now so if i open the GA attack sword ability here what happens is I send this react.sword gameplay uh, event and this activates the sword react gameplay effect gameplay ability this one GA hit react sword this is the ability that is activated when i send this event so this has been added to the character as one of the default abilities here i have added ga hit react sword as one of the default abilities so the character will already have that and we can call send this event and this will activate the relevant ability so now what i want to do is if we are doing a heavy attack we need to have a basically a heavy attack reaction so for that first let's create a different gameplay ability this is ga hit react sword and the ability tag is react dot sword but now i think this is not a good name so I want to rename this instead of react.sword ability.sword.react Well I will name this react light Oh now I have to restart okay all right now let me duplicate this and oh, before that i'll rename this hit react sword light let's name it like that and duplicate it and the duplicated one i'll name hit react sword heavy so what now here as the ability tag i'll add uh, 
ability sword react heavy add new tag and I'll mark this sword dot react heavy as the ability tag and here also trigger tag now I need to change to react heavy like this okay now here we still don't haven't made any changes so first this is the reaction montage that we are using but for the heavy attack let's use a different more uh, an animation that shows more damage so something that staggers character backward so i think this stagger back left this is good so here i'll in our motion and let's create a montage from this create an montage i don't need to add any notifiers or anything here for now and then i'll is that the one selected no Oh, yeah uh, here let's go to the sword heavy as the reaction I'll add the sword and shield is tagger back to montage okay uh, now I'll leave the rest says same without making any changes because it's enough to see the animation is changed for the heavy attacks now here GA attack sword now we need to activate react heavy if we are doing a heavy attack but how do we determine that I think it would be easier for me if I just say promote this to a parameter a variable heavy or is heavy attack here and use that to determine the rest and here also I this is ability sort dot react light so I'll select using this is heavy attack variable if this is false we should do a light reaction if it is true we should do a heavy reaction and we need to use the same tag here as well now activating this now is not enough we have to add the heavy react ability as a default ability to the character so now here let's add G A React Sword Heavy like this. Okay. Now let's test. Now the character. now I'm doing a heavy attack character is pushed backward like that great okay but still not much not do no difference in damage level the same thing same as before so what we can do is we already have this GE damage sword so what it does is reducing health by minus 10 if you want you can add this twice or you can just duplicate this and I'll name it damage sword heavy and make this minus 20 
and also we have another gameplay effect so here first one is GE damage sword so here DE damage sword GE jump damage sword heavy I'll apply and this is GE stun so this is stun as uh, two seconds so if I duplicate this stun heavy and instead of two seconds what if I make it three seconds so you can modi obviously modify the values as you see fit and change them accordingly this is only to show how the method okay now let's see so for a longer time character is not able to do any attacks compared to a light attack for a light attack it only takes two seconds to recover but for a heavy attack it takes longer okay and see also it takes a less number of attacks to kill the character all right so that's uh, all I have wanted to do let's test this in a multiplayer environment also as always here we have the server in the bigger screen and the clients in the smaller screens let's first test with the server so they are not identified as enemies so that's why uh, i am not automatically rotating towards them but if i go to here it's working as before and it should be properly visible from other player instances as well so let's now test with a client even though the other players are not registered as enemies we can still damage them only if they are in the area that they get hit they will be damaged okay now let me attack the NPC yeah okay so it's working all right so replication also working properly and thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye